guys and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would just put up a really quick video today about how I am creating these willow hoops. So this is what I use for the base of all of my Christmas wreaths and in fact any wreath that I'm making. So if you watched my autumn wreath video that I made a couple of weeks ago, it has one of these moss, uh, one of these willow hoops with moss on top of it. So these are really good because my customers who come and do wreath making workshops with me message me and say I've still got mine can I just buy a bit of foliage to put onto it so I can make my own again this year so that's really good and um, they last for ages and they look a lot better than the metal wreaths and indeed the oasis ones that are doing so much damage to our environment at the moment. So natural all the way here with these nice willow hoops. They take a little while to make but it's totally worth it and um, just whilst I'm making them ready for my Christmas orders next week I thought I would just show you quickly how I make them and what kind of willow I'm using and everything just to help you out if you're not sure on where to go with it. using this buff willow that I buy from Musgrove Willows in the UK and this stuff is seven foot long and this is actually the willow that I had left over from last year that I didn't use and this takes about two to two and a half hours to soak so that it can become pliable so you can see how bendy it is and this year I ended up buying some different stuff which I didn't intentionally buy and I looked yesterday at the instructions about how to soak it and it said it takes six days so and I was like oh my gosh I've literally got only a few more days until I need to really crack on with making wreaths so luckily I've got a lot of this left from last year so I can soak this stuff for two and a half hours and let it mellow overnight wrapped in a wet towel and then it's ready to use the next day so that's really saved my life this year so this year i've bought black mall willow which is a little bit different it takes longer to soak it's soaking now so it should be ready on sunday and it is wednesday now and um, so that's going to be perfect timing i think so yeah let's get started on making a hoop so what i do usually is i have a ruler here with inches on it and it makes the wreath the same size every time or roughly anyway so what i do is i usually have the thick end um no, no, I'm thick end in my left hand um, i'm right handed and then i just go to tie um you know like if you were just tying a knot in it so um I didn't, i'm sorry i don't know anything about the names of knots but you just go one side over the other so it's like that and there's a bit of a kink in that one which isn't ideal but so i want to make mine about 13 or 14 inches so i measure it across ways 13 or 14 inches and then i just go up and over with thin end and then usually you have this long piece sticking out so i'll go back and bend this over if i can a couple of times so then we've got this ring and it's it's actually quite nicely round but sometimes it isn't but that doesn't matter too much losing my camera again but yeah it doesn't matter too much if it's not too round at this stage so then we take a second one and we always put it in the same direction that the other one is going in so as you can see the stub end of that is pointing over there so we're having this one point in that direction as well and we just poke it through the hoop and then I grab hold of it and then I take the end and pull it in through the back and then just keep going round going up and over and as you can see it's come out of shape a bit more now so keep going and what you can do is like mold it back into its own position and then I use about seven of the willow rods per hoop and you can obviously use more but I, don't, I just find that seven is a good enough structure for the wreath and there's no need to really add more I suppose you could do if you wanted to but totally up to you and then these ends I do try to push them back down 
so that they fix into the wreath but if they don't like that one isn't gonna well, maybe it will no that it sort of is in there but if it sticks up and it isn't gonna bend down then don't worry about it we'll just cut it off at the end so just keep going and you'll notice it just gets oh got a snapped one so I'm not going to use that I might just cut it off where the snap is I would definitely recommend wearing gloves doing this because your hands get quite disgusting and cold as well if you're working outside like me looking forward to my new workshop being built I'm going to be doing a YouTube series on building a work, my new workshop space out of the shipping container so follow along with that if you're interested so that is the com semi-completed hoop and the next thing I'm going to do is just snip off these bits that are sticking out of it too far so there we have it a uh, completed wreath hoop done and dusted and to add to the collection so like i said i these are all made out of buff willow which i buy from musgrove willows but this year i've gone with black mall i think that the buff willow was sold out so that's why i went with that and i don't think that there's that much difference but we'll see so yeah give it a go let me know how it goes